Hi, welcome to Analyze It, a YouTube channel that I designed to teach, share tips on Power BI, um, Excel Power Pivot, uh, Excel Power Query, Python, um, remote uh, um, data collection tools, and I'm also a little bit focusing on monitoring and evaluation. Today in this video, we're going to talk again about Python and Power BI and machine learning. More specifically, I'm going to talk, or I'm going to show you, or I'm going to share with you how you can use um, decision tree, um, machine learning algorithm in Power BI. The purpose of this video is not to teach you how to type um, Python codes, but I want to share with you how you can use Python code in Power BI to run um, machine learning um, in Power BI, specifically how to run um, decision tree algorithm in Power BI. My first point will be what is a decision tree and what is the purpose of the decision tree. So imagine you are a researcher and you have data on age, sex, blood pressure, and level of cholesterol about a set of people, all of whom suffered from the same illness. And you also know to which drug each people responded. For example, you know, person one has age of 40, he is a male, his blood pressure is normal, and his level of cholesterol is really high. And you know that person was treated or responded positively when he took drug A. And so on for person 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. But now, let's say you have a new person in your data set. And your question is, to which drug that person will respond the best? So what you can do is basically, you can take your data set or part of your data set, what we call the training data set, and develop a model where you will basically build a decision tree. And through that decision tree, you can get the answer on which drug that person will respond the best. In the case of our new person, we can see that that person has 33 in terms of age. Is a, she is a female. And her blood, prefer, blood pressure is very high and has a normal level of cholesterol. So looking back at your decision tree, you can see that this person is less than 40. So it will go in that branch. Yes, that person is less than 40. Now you will look at the blood pressure. Is the blood pressure is normal? What we saw, we saw it yes. It, uh, it is no, it is very, um, very high. So the blood pressure is not normal. So we will go to that branch. And then we conclude that we can apply drug B to that person. That is the purpose of uh, a decision tree. Now, such a decision tree and visual can be done in Power BI through Python. Let's see, using that example and an example of data set, how we can build such a visual or a decision tree. OK, so I am in my Power BI. Um, and as you can see, I already um, have uh, my data set open in, in my Power BI, as well as the, um, the Power Query here. So um, let me go to my Power BI desktop. And uh, you can see I have the data set uh, and variable here, age, blood pressure, level of cholesterol. I also added the country um, and the drug to which that person responded posit positively. And the level of N2K and the sex of that person. So, um, but because we want to do a, a decision tree chart or visual, 
Um, let's go to our um, report pane. And we will definitely look for PY, which is the Python visual, and we will click PY. And you will see that it says drag fill into the values area in the visualization pane to start scripting. Um, so for now, I want to consider as a, uh, as a feature um, the age, so I click age, I click blood pressure, I click cholesterol, I, I click um, sex and the drug. Um, one thing, as I mentioned in my previous video talking about um, Python, is that although my data set or my table is called drug 2001, when sc scripting with Python, the data that, I'm, that I put in my Python script editor are um, uh, like, um, uh, let's say, uh, are stored temporarily as a data set. So every time that in my Python script or my Python code, I will make reference, uh, reference to this data set and this variable, I have to use um, data set. Um, also, to start um, using Python, you need to have Python already installed in your computer and all the necessary library that you, you, you will need to call um, in your, in your um, Python uh, script editor. Um, so for example, you will see that I'm gonna call a couple of um, library. I already have them and I will basically copy and paste what I have. So I will basically call I will type here um, for library. So you can see, for example, here, I am importing Panda. I am importing Matplotlib PyPlot. Panda is a data frame um, 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 library that allows me to play and modify the data frame. Matplotlib is a um, visualization um, library for, for Python. NumPy is an array library. Scikit-learn is basically the most important um, machine learning that I need right now. And from Scikit-learn, I'm importing a couple of um, modules that I need. And also I am importing um, from Scikit-learn um, the train test split because I need to split my data set in two subset. And I'm also importing from Scikit-learn Scikit trees. Um, so these are the library that you already need to be installed in your local machine or computer or laptop. If you don't know how to install it, I will refer you to previous um, video that I, I, I did. Now, um, I will also do some um, data um, transformation because as you can see, um, looking at the data set, you have some non-numerical variables such as sex, blood pressure, cholesterol and drug. They are still at, uh, they are in the format of non-numerical variable. And scikit-learn doesn't work with non-numerical variable. We need to transform them, all of this um, variable into numerical variable. So we will need to do some data transformation. Um, and one thing, one way you can do it is um, using uh, what we call the label encoder. So I already did that, I um, already typed my code, so I'm gonna just copy and paste it. And you can see that I'm pasting it here. So I am transforming sex as, as, a, as a, I'm transforming, let's say, blood pressure, cholesterol, and drug variable into non-numerical variable. Then I need also to, um, to do some, to, to set the feature and the target variable. So on that, um, as you know, um, we mentioned that age, um, blood pressure, level of cholesterol, uh, level of NA2K, and the sex should be the feature that I want to decide 
the tree for me. And the target variable will be the drug. So I need to set this. So I'm setting age, sex, blood pressure, cholesterol, N2K variable as my X, which are the features, and the drug as the, um, the target. Now that I've, I am done with um, um, assigning which variable are the target and which variables are the feature, there is one last thing that I need to do, which is bas basically assigning um, a name to, um, um, to, um, to the target and the feature so that I can have them in, my, um, in, the, label of, in the label of my um, visual. So using the, the Python um, code, we can do that. So I'm assigning um, the target name and the feature name. So uh, you can see I have drug Y, drug C, drug X, drug A, and drug B. These are the, um, the target. Um, and which feature that I want to, to use is age, sex, blood pressure, cholesterol, and, and, and A2K. And this will, I, I, have to, I have to create this variable so that I can have this, uh, uh, this name in my label. So another step is really um, splitting my, uh, my data set, as I said earlier, into uh, training and testing. And you will, we will run our decision to classify in our training set. And for that, I'm gonna call uh, the function here, which I, and this is why I, I imported from scikit-learn the train test split, and I'm gonna do that. Here we go. And the last and not least step is feeding the decision to classify. Again, the purpose of this video is not to teach you Python or you know um, how to type Python uh, code, but rather to show you how to copy and paste and use it in Power BI. So I already has it in my, uh, my Python um, IDE, so I'm just copy and paste it. So, and the last step that I need to do is to plot this decision tree. And I'm gonna use matplotlib and the tree plot um, that I called before. Here we go. So now um, I have all my, um, let me make it a little bit bigger for you. Um, all right, um, yeah, doesn't want to be bigger than that. So I have all my code, my Python code in, in, the, in this um, Python script editor right now. So the only thing that I need to do is to click that arrow here. Um, usually as a good practice, I would not recommend you to start typing um, your Python code here directly. I do it most of the time in some IDE, and I use either Spider or Jupyter Notebook. So why? Because if I want to debug my code, if I have an issue, I can easily see where I did a mistake. Um, so now that I have everything in, in my Python script editor, I will just click here, and you will see that my code, if I don't have any mistake, all right, I have a mistake here, um, and it's not an index, it's not an index, it's not an index, um, and A2K, um, all right. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, it's just because I did not, you see, I did not click here, I did not bring this variable here, and then I have this mistake. So now I have to click it, and you will see that it will, it will appear here because I don't have this variable here, so I need to bring it. All right, it should work right now. Let me see what I have right now, and we'll see if it will give me the same mistake. No, exactly, you can see that already, I already have it, um, my, all right, so I can increase. Um, 
All right, so here is my decision tree. So um, Python has decided the top level of my decision tree is the variable n to k. So if this variable is less than 14.8, on the left side is always yes, and in the right side is always no. So if it is less, then I need to look at the um, um, blood pressure. If the blood pressure is less or equal than 0 0.5, Yes, in that sense. No, is that sense? So let's say if my person has a blood pressure less than 0 0.5, I'm going to look at the age. If the age is less than well than 51, so it is drug Y. So I need to apply drug Y to that branch of people. So that means people with NA2K less than 14, blood pressure less than 4.5, and age less than 50, I need to apply drug A, and so on, you can have different um, uh, branches. So if in the same branch I have um, uh, the age of my person is higher than, it's not, it's not less, so it's not less than 51.5, so I have to apply drug C. So this is the beauty of, of, of applying, um, um, the, you, the beauty of having the machine learning in, in Power BI. But another feature also, you know, so far, I can also slice this by country. Remember, I did not use the variable country. I can also use it. So I can put my slicer. And then I just bring the country as a slicer. And you will see, once I'm clicking on the slicer, my decision tree will change. See? It's changing. All right. So these are the beauty of applying um, machine learning in Power BI. I hope this video was very helpful for you. Um, I am attaching all the code and I'm giving you the, the URL for accessing also the data set so you can practice. I hope you have enjoyed this video and it was useful for you.